Hello, this is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. It is May 2nd, 2020. I am in the backyard. The chickens are very excited that I'm out, so they're gonna be a little noisy. I thought I would give you a quick garden update. It's been a while since I made a video. I did a short series of videos that I needed for a beekeeping class I taught online, and that's all I've uploaded to YouTube lately. So I'm gonna try and be more active in uploading videos because right now I can't do any roller derby and I'm home all the time, so I have a lot of time in the garden. Um, you can see right now, the garden is like on the cusp of starting to be amazing. Uh, the lilacs are blooming, the roses are just starting to bloom, the clematis are just starting to bloom. I got my tomatoes in, I have pumpkins and summer squash planted, I have potatoes that are coming up, uh, my garlic's in, leeks are in, kale is in, things like that. So some of the things we've been doing in the garden is that we got a a covered area built and the beginning of an outdoor kitchen going. I can't get all of the parts because the refractory brick company is currently closed. Uh, we're going to be converting this old um, oven into a rocket bread oven and there'll be a counter to the right of it um, when it's all done. I also have a little wisteria cutting right here that will be going up and over. Wisteria is so aggressive. I don't want to put it anywhere near the house, but it's so beautiful. I want to have some in my yard, so I'm putting it there. Um, you can see the chicken coop in the background. And then here is the gateway leading into the um, one of the three poultry paddocks. It's also the area of the yard where I have my raspberries. You can see here one of my David Austin roses is starting to bloom. I'm going to get a little closer. It is raining. Ooh. Okay. So I have a lot of David Austin roses. I've been working more and more on converting a lot of my garden from just like straight food production, not converting, keeping all the food producing and medicinal plants that are here, but trying to add more in the way of aesthetic plants. I always have a lot of insectiary plants, but I want to add a little bit more of a cottage garden feel. Um, for my own personal enjoyment, I find if things are flowering more, I'm out in the garden more. This David Austin rose, the name of which I'm going to forget for just a second, is not a great bee plant because the blossoms are so tight, it's hard for bees to get into the middle. But it's a lovely rose, and I always like to do a combination of rose on one half and clematis on the other. So, um, this is the raspberry patch. Move this clematis out of the way. Two rows of raspberries, which you can see they've walked a little bit. Uh, there's a peony in front here. And um, I really like this area of the garden. The chickens are loose here in the winter and they deal with uh, chickens and ducks. They deal with the slugs and weeds and other things. And then I close this area off and put down fresh mulch, uh, usually in February. And then this is just straight food production. I have June berries in here. I put in a Tibetan a cherry back here that is very young um, that is going to be just a, a tree that I really wanted to have in the garden. I want to have a quiet space for meditation. It'll take 10 years for that tree to get big enough, but I wanted to have an area of shade in here and a place I could put a bench or a chair underneath. So I got a Tibetan cherry. It took me a long time to source one. So Imagine between these raspberries and the chicken coop, there will eventually be a long, a tall, beautiful um, ornamental cherry. Back here are my high bush cranberries, which are blooming. Again, we don't really eat them. They were one of the first plants I put in. They are a viburnum and they're quite lovely and the bees really like them and the chickens like the fruit, but the fruit I find is a little bit bitter and not a good substitute for actual cranberries. Okay, it is raining pretty hard here, so I'm gonna back up this way past my black current and I will be back soon and we will talk a little bit about um, some of the other parts of the garden when it stops raining. If you liked this video, please click like and subscribe. Please feel free to leave questions and comments about permaculture, particularly in the Pacific Northwest, and I will do my best to answer them in upcoming videos. Thanks.